that was? Embarrassing. Totally unbefitting of a well-respected and best-selling author. Oh, I have a meeting with the Palamon suits in the morning. Right. Well, you better start hitting the sauce now and sabotaging your reputation before Palamon does for you. Oh my god! Is it really that bad? These are the people who adapt Stay Thou Art So Beautiful into Sup. You're hot. <laughs> what? It's true! They're messing up with a classic in a totally unreasonable way. It's like they're making a movie about Chaucer, but setting it in 2013 and making not a genius. Sup. Sup. You should really put your pants back on if you're walking me home. So what are you supposed to be, anyway? I'm a shrew. Duh. Obscure rodent. Solid choice. You know Henslow? The janitor in the arts of Nim building? The one who for sure has some sort of creepy spy closet where he keeps lux people's hair and stuff? He told me that he overheard Liz call me a shrewy bitch last week. Waspish, maybe, but truly, that seems harsh. You didn't get that trick or treating, did you? You know about the razor blade thing, right? Your parents had that conversation with you as a kid. I got it from that girl Georgia at the bar. Oh, so it's just Rufy. She had a knife. What? She had a switchblade. She just. Hold out a switchblade to cut a slice of the apple off. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna eat that. Find some real food for ya. Oh, I have to go to bed. I have this meeting tomorrow. What meeting tomorrow? The Palamon meeting? Yeah, then this morning? Jeez, it's sunny. What? Yeah, this morning. And it went pretty well. They agreed to cast Kenneth Branagh as long as they get to keep the musical number at the end. Right, Kenneth Branagh. Because you deserve the greatest Chassarian actor of all time. It sure is sunny for November. But then you're not being your usual peevish, sullen, and sour self. That would really spoil the unreasonably good weather. Hey, I'm not sour. Not today. Today you're being super delightful and charming. I am. Shrewy, no more. Yeah, thanks to Kenneth Brana. This newfound sense of self. What will you do next? I was thinking about... <gasps> St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. Have you read about it? Romantic topic. Of all possible topics. I am drunk on freedom. Oh. Nope. Just drunk. Oh my god, I am so drunk. How am I gonna go to this meeting tomorrow? I told you it's fine. No, I mean it, Tom. I feel like... No. This is not the face that launched a thousand ships. I just want to burn my book. Manuscripts don't burn. I'm not Bulgakov. You're not Faustus. Oh. Yeah, I'm just... Dr. Foster, his distant American cousin. You're not a character in a story. You're not some hollow archetype at the mercy of writer's whims existing solely to prove a point. I praise. You don't have a fatal flaw. You get to learn from this mistake. Wait. Look. If you say the moon is the sun, and I agree, then right now, for us, the 
moon is the sun. If Liz and Palamon say the moon is the moon, then fuck them. Let them make Dr. Foster. Tell them you don't want to be involved and they can't put your name on it. Once done, you'll be done at Bankside. You'll be writing something else, and Faustus will be the book that Chris Marlowe wrote when she was a fourth year creative writing student who looked to crush beer cans on her forehead like a standard frat bro. Kiss me with your peaky mouth. Oh. <laughs>